We are here for a Domain Kicks event. It is our Wednesday 6 o'clock uh, event that we're doing live for you. We're calling it Fishing for uh, Domains Live because uh, one of the top videos I ever had was uh, Fishing for Domains and Domain Investing. So we're just going to kind of use that term here to just kind of play around with it tonight. Hence the fishing background. Um, if we uh, unshare, I Oops, <laughs> you see us there. So over to my right is uh, Simon, and uh, I am Daryl. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Uh, Good to see you, Daryl. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna show the screen here. Um, a few, few things I want to show this week about Domain Kicks is that we have um, now this live tab that's going to be um, coming your way if you have the all access um, level or the, un, um, what do you call it? The lifetime. So if you have the lifetime all access, you will then see this in the coming days. It's called live. And if you click on it, it's kind of like what we do on here on this show. But what it does is um, it just has this. It just starts to run through random combinations from your list. So your presets would be different than mine. So the ones that you get are different, right? So if you want to change the settings, you can just go up here while this is doing it and you can change it. So you can say, I don't want .NETs, I don't want .AIs, but I want maybe .IOs and .coms. And, and then you go ahead and you can close that and you'll see that this will now start showing IOs and .coms. Okay. Greatest individual. Is that your domain? <laughs> oh, that's a good domain, isn't it? That one. Yeah, amazing. Greatestindividual.com. Yeah, right. Daryl at greatestindividual.com. That would be a little full of myself, <laughs> wouldn't it be? <laughs> yeah, you I think greatest... so. We'll get a few Christmas, uh, Daryl. Yeah, birthday present, yeah. yeah. If somebody wants to get that one, it's a good domain. Uh, greatestindividual.com. Yeah. That was just funny. And that's just coming mm. off the live feed here. So if you get domain kicks, um, this will be coming out this week. Um, and you'll be able to change it. So you can go like, if you wanted like the, the append at the end, you can do this and watch, you'll start to see the keywords start to change. So it'll be keyword plus append. Okay. Like restaurant spring.io. See, it starts to change around. So there's millions and millions of combinations. Uh, hi, you guys. Thanks a lot for being here. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be an epic one. You're definitely going to want to check this out. Uh, what we're going to do is go through expired, and that's exact match, not expired, ex exact match domains today. And uh, it, we yes. were blown away uh, in rehearsal. We about were quite this. excited about this. Uh, yeah, we, we looked at some stuff and we were, oh, my God, that, that we can't believe some of these ones are actually available. So uh, it was pretty surprising because exact match is normally one of the first things to get snapped up by particularly lead generation companies and, and people in the business. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's still out there dot com exact match domains. So we were we were amazed. So hopefully we'll, we'll find some when we do our fishing tonight. Yeah, doing some fishing tonight. And we have a special guest, a uh, special gift for you coming up tonight. If you do purchase it or you already have domain kicks, um, we'll, we'll tell you what that is coming up. But there's a special gift for you if you sign up tonight. Um, and uh, I think you'll like it. I think it could be a very valuable asset for you uh, in looking for domains. Okay. Andrew, how's it going? Long time. No see my friend. <laughs> so we're just going through, um, some really cool domains. These are exact matches that we're going to go through, um, tonight. We'll get started with that in just a little bit as more people are kind of filing in here. Um, but I just want to show this off to you. Now, if we go down through here, I'm just going to give you a little preview of what's coming in. So these are dot IOs are coming in right now, but here's a, 411 blood i don't know if that could be an information site on blood um let's look for some more dot coms i'm going to turn off the uh the dot ios just to see how many dot coms come through like this all right so these are just a bunch personalized lead dot com there's a whole business into itself right and again, you're going to use your own presets. So if you've got your own favorite list, you can do that. Or you can do a mixture of our lists. So you could take, you know, yours and our list and put them together to come up with some really cool names. Okay. Um, do you see anything on here that 
you think would be good, Simon? I, I thought I thought personalized lead was uh, an interesting one. I have to say, I mean, if uh, you were help it, helping a lead generation, you know, helping a local business, your funnel building, or you had some sort mm -hmm. of technology, it might be interesting to do something with that. Yeah, personalizedlead.com, okay. greatest individual. Obviously, that's that goes without saying. <laughs> Yeah, greatest individual. People are going to be fighting over that one. Mm -hmm. This is interesting looking. How would you say that? Mm. Your 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 pickle. Euro pickle. Yeah, <laughs> it sort of looks like it could be a word, but it's not yeah. quite, is it? Yeah, it doesn't. Change, yeah. change association is change interesting, association. isn't it? Yeah, that could be a really good one for like if you're a psychologist, maybe or a yeah you know, yeah changeassociation.com. Kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so, course. So yeah, if you guys take a look at Domain Kicks, um, it, this is going to be a very fun year for you because you can run this um, with the all access plan or higher. Uh, so if you go to pricing, um, you'll see that these are the plans. $97, uh, $9.97 for lifetime and standard is $47. Now tonight we have a very special deal. If you look, it says go.ht slash kicks. That's where you get the 40% off, okay? And you get the special gift, gift that we're going to give you um, with this, okay? And so I'll, I'll let you know what the gift is coming up here in just a few minutes. I just want to make sure that you get a chance to see this. Okay. Now, don't forget, guys, there's a dream list, and you can add, like, domains that you want to watch for, and it'll continually check to see if that domain is available, and it'll tell you the last time it was checked and everything like that. Um, and let's see what else. Um, that's it. Now you're seeing my plan, which is, you know, I've got access to the users and everything like that. I, I just have it in here because I wanted to show you the live, which is on my plan um, because we haven't moved it over to everybody else's yet. All right. All right, guys. Looking good. What do you say we start to fish for domains tonight? I think about seven minutes That's after. Good. Yeah, I think. Okay, so let's just talk about what we're going to yep. do here. Um, I have got a list of uh, categories, business categories. Okay. And we went through and did a few things with it um, ahead of time. And that is we, we, we wanted to take a look and see what kind of traffic these have. Okay. So I'm just going to go over here. Let me just look for the... Uh, the traffic thing. Hold on a second. This is this is a big list we've got here, isn't it, Daryl? This is thousands and thousands of categories. Yeah, this, this is, is thousands just, of lists. You know, and, we're not and, put, we're, we thought we'd try and try to break it. Just how much can we put on one search that's relevant and get and get some data behind it and, and see what we can come up with? Yeah. Yeah. So what what I did is I broke these categories down into five sets into Uber Suggest. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to enlarge it because it is kind of hard to see. Um, so categories one has a total search volume of 56.5 million searches in this list of keywords. Okay. The exact match keywords, the average cost per click is, this is the average is $3 and 20 cents. And the average pay difficulty is 17 on this whole list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the list and I'm going to show you, this is um, using a tool called Uber suggest. Okay. And now we have all of these keywords that we're going to search in a um, list here that has search volume, cost per click, pay difficulty, and SEO difficulty. Okay. So now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you two, two systems and two, two ways to do this. But um, if you go and you sort by let's say CPC, it depends on what you want to do. Like if you just want domains with the highest cost per click, let me just enlarge this a little bit. Um, you can go with this. This one has $89 cost per click, right? This one has a $70 cost per click. So I, the way Uber suggests works is you have to break it into sets of 1000. So I took the list and broke it into five, five sets of, of 1000. Okay. And so let's say we're just looking for search volume. Okay, we can go ahead and sort by that. And you can see these are the words that have the highest search volume. Okay, if you're looking for something that had like lowest SEO difficulty, you can do that, right? Um, you could also export it to CSV 
and sort it inside of your favorite spreadsheet program, whether that be Google Sheets or Excel or whatever it might be. Okay, so I think in our experiment, what we did is we, we searched by search volume, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, copy this to Clipboard. We're gonna just copy all, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Text Shaker. Okay, so this is another step, all right? I'm gonna take this list and it's in order of search volume, okay? And I'm just looking through it. These aren't too bad, they're not too long. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this list I'm not going to do anything with it in there. I'm just going to take it over to Domain Kicks. I'm going to clear all and just pop these into the keywords list. Okay. Now, inside of Domain Kicks, it will go ahead and strip out um, everything that is like a space, an ampersand, a, um, everything except for these, these uh, dashes. Okay. But in this case, you would want to have co ed school. Okay, because co-ed is sort of has a dash to it. Um, you can take a look. These are all exact match keywords, right? See this, this little hyphen? So without domain kicks, you would have to go ahead and trim out all of this stuff, right? Um, and let's see, this is sort of the British spelling. I'm just going to change it. All right. Now, if I hit fix it, it does. It just fixes all that stuff. All right. And it's, in, it's still in order of search volume, okay? So the very first in this group is bar. It has the highest search volume of these keywords, all right? All right, so I say we get going with this and let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and hit search. And on the right-hand side, if you are you familiar with this, you're gonna see on the right-hand side, let me just go ahead and remove uh, the domain kicks thing here, hold on. Uh, so on the, on the search, Daryl, you're not using any prepend, append. You're literally just putting in the yes. the exact match business categories. So it's just completely clean. What what can we find that is still out there on a dot com with no no modifiers at all? Right. You could put any modifiers mm. you want, like you know buy or you know deals or you know anything like that that you want. There's our first one: Christmas tree farm with a dash in between. So not, I don't think Christmas tree farm without the dash would show, but that's the first one that showed up because it, the Christmas tree has a dash in it. So let's see what else comes up. And this is this is based on search volume. So if these searches are a higher search volume, using the Uber Suggest tool, which is pretty low cost, um, you can go ahead and check out this and see. Now, let's talk a little bit about the gift that we're going to give you if you purchase today. And again, no pressure for you. This is just an added value thing that we're doing for you tonight is we're going to give you this list of exact match keywords so that you can do the same thing for yourself. Okay, so we're going to run through and you, you can play around and see what's going to come through the very first run. But we're only giving, you know, showing you a small sample of the entire list. So you can do the same thing for yourself, but, you know, do it across all these other ones. And you can do it against .IOs and all kinds of things because there are .IOs that are selling quite well. All right, clothingalterationservice.com. Clothingalterationservice.com. That must have a fairly decent uh, search. Uh, let me just take that and just see. Clothing alteration service. Take a look and see what that has. I know we'll, we'll come right back to this. Um, so. Can't find my, uh, <laughs> I think it was under the tech shade. There it is. Okay. It must be under, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see where are we at on this. I'm, I'm just looking it. on SE ranking, uh, Daryl, and it, it's estimating uh, two and a half thousand searches a month for clothing alteration service. And, and interestingly enough, it's it's pretty seasonal. So it's, it shows it as it goes towards Christmas. It peaks at five and a half thousand searches a month uh, as well. So, yeah, in, interesting. And there's obviously all the different permutations of it, clothing alteration service, services near me, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, quite quite a lot there. So you just went in here, right? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah I did just... it. Well, I put I put the spaces in, yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even it even ha comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so there, there's there's some numbers. But look at the CPC on it, and people are paying for that keyword two two dollars yeah. twenty two per per click, which is you know good amount. Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna minimize this. Oh, look at what else is here. Bordercrossingstation.com. Not sure how you would monetize that, but look at this mm -hmm. one: canoe kayak rental service. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Chicken wings Chicken restaurant. Wing. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm amazed. That, I'm amazed that they are just not taken. You know, it's they are exact match. It is interesting. Blood donation center again. Not sure you monetize it, but that's um, you know, it's a, it, that would be very valuable for certain businesses, wow. for certain organizations. You know, <laughs> folks, if you're enjoying this uh, search tonight, exact match keywords, go ahead and put something in the comments. Let us know that you're watching these. Um, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm afraid what I'm going to see. To be honest. <laughs> um, BMW motorcycle dealer. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to be careful with the brand. That's one yes. thing I would say. Um, you've got crepery there, which I'm uh, missing an E. I don't know what's happened there. That's a little bit, uh, interesting. Yeah. Cheesesteakrestaurant.com. Uh, mm -hmm. Cheesesteak. I don't know what it, do you know what a cheesesteak is? I don't know. No, no. I know what a cheesecake is. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I got to pull these up higher above the uh, thing here. Um, let's see. Costa Rican restaurant.com. City clerk's office.com. Cash and carry wholesaler.com. I mean, I'm amazed something like that is there. I mean, because you could use these for directory sites, couldn't you? I mean, you could do a, mm -hmm. a, a blog, obviously, um, but a directory site would be an interesting one for that kind of thing, too. So, yeah. Uh, now, this is spelled a little differently for center in the U.S., but in Canada, it would be center this way. Adult yeah, daycare UK, center. Yeah. Yeah. Countygovernmentoffice.com. Okay. Auto air. There's a dash in there. I don't really care for that. Citygovernmentoffice.com. Okay. Uh, Catholiccathedral.com. Whoa. Mm. That's going to be a high volume, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be something. Wow. You want to look that up? I'm looking up already. <laughs> yeah, catholiccathedral.com. Guys, we're finding this with domain kicks. You're not supposed to be able to find things like this. <laughs> this is so, so yeah, so Cathedral Catholic is 3,000 searches a month. Actually, Catholic Cathedral, and that order is 240, but uh, there's obviously, a lot, again, a lot of permutations, so there's Catholic cathedrals as well. So I think if you add them all up, you've, you've got um, three, three and a half thousand searches, which is a, you know, a good number. I'm just going to have that ready inside of here so we can go back to it. All right. Let's see what else comes up. Audiovisual equipment supplier. That's a little long. Business to business mm. supply.com. Alcoholism treatment program.com. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. uh, the the mm -hmm. addiction uh, lead yeah. gen is so huge. Lead gen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So, you know, if you've ever known anybody that went into rehab, you know how much it costs. So those leads go mm. for a lot of money. So um, take a look at that one. Again, we're only going to do this for one of the sampled lists. We broke them into um, five parts. Um, and we'll give you this. If you buy this tonight, the um, go.ht slash kicks, you save 40% with kicks kick 40. And um, this is the fun that we do on a, on a Wednesday, just kind of show you what this thing can do. Uh, catering food and drink supplier, a bit long. Chinese noodle restaurant.com. That would be a good brand, mm -hmm. actually. Chinese noodle. Um, yeah. It would be kind of fun. Alcohol Look at Bus Ticket Agency. Agency. That's, uh, that's good. If Bus you can sell Ticket tickets Agency. online. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. good one. Yep. That could be resold to a, a place. Let's take a look here. Compressed natural gas station. Chief of Police Department. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Birdwatchingarea.com. These go. are available right now. You can register for like. I like this one, Beach Pavilion. That's that's a good one. Beach isn't it? Pavilion, yeah. Because that's short as well, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty short. Air Compressor Repair Service.com. Who's you know who's really going for air compressor repair? You don't think about that, right? But that there there's a niche. 
you know, yeah, across yeah, the sure. whole state or county, there's a lot of air compressors, right? Oh, we got to tell Stephen Brocklehurst about this one. Childrenspartyservice.com. He does, he did a lot of kids' parties, right? Yeah. yeah as a DJ or yeah. something. So, a- um, air compressor repair service, nearly 1,000 searches a month, Daryl. Wow. Uh, on that one. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, <laughs> buying an exact match domain doesn't guarantee you're going to rank on it. And, yeah. and obviously, there's many more ranking factors, but it, but it helps. And it also can help you if you want to get a Google My Business listing in that name. If you have the exact match and you want to name it, it's, it's clearly going to help with your search results there. So, yeah, I mean, these things are, are useful, used in the right way. This is a good one. Um, beach Volleyball Court. Dot com you could have mm-hmm. you know a simulated beach volleyball court and mm-hmm. you know rent it out to people you know i know some bars and taverns that have beach volleyball that they have as part of their you know their setup there so that's kind of good here's anglerfishrestaurant.com mm-hmm. that well, that could be good if it's a seafood place it could be a good uh, name right yeah. you got berryrestaurant.com um alcohol retail monopoly i don't know I'm sure what's going on there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saying a beach volleyball uh, court, 3,000 searches a month just on that keyword alone. Oh, and wow. Obviously, all the permutations. So you've got about 7 or 8K per month on that in the US. Uh, look at is, this. Which is interesting, yeah. Boattrailerdealer.com. But look at this one right here. Baittackleshop.com. Bait tackle shop, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. This is like Christmas Day for domains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think if you if you're doing like you know income school, you're doing sort of income style blogs, right. income school style blogs where you're looking at a niche and you know you're, it's all about fishing or sporting goods or tennis or whatever else. That the, these are going to work very well. I mean, bait tackle shop, I think, would be good for that kind of uh, that kind of niche. You know, so yeah, cheese manufacturer. Yeah, yeah, cheese manufacturer. Um, <laughs> contact lenses supplier. I think it'd be better if it wasn't plural like that. Yeah. Authentic yeah, Japanese yeah, just, restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Authentic Japanese restaurant.com. Bit long, hmm. but it's an exact match, you know. Mm-hmm. Country food restaurant. Let's see. Oh, barbecue area.com. That's interesting. I'm not sure I would buy that one though. Ceramics, ceramic so, wholesaler. We're getting people calling us uh, to say there's a delay in the live feed so we can get them first. Now, I haven't bought any. I don't think Daryl has. If he's tapping on his keyboard later on, he might be. But these these are all live and available. I'm going to so come in at the end and scoop them all first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, they're there. I mean, if you want to have, you know, barbecuearena.com or beach pavilion, I mean, this is this is live. They, they go on, go on, go, Daddy name cheap. They're all there. But there's there's not much of a delay. But we're we're uh, we're busy on the show, not buying any domains. But but yeah. I, I can't speak for for Daryl though. Never know with <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Building restoration service. Now, water damage restoration is huge. Imagine commercial water damage restoration. This could be a huge domain for somebody. Biotechnology engineering. Car alarm supplier. Uh, Let's see. These are garbage. Credential agency. Bowling supply shop. Yeah, that's, that's singular. Bowling supply shop. Um, Armed Forces Association, car finance and loan company. Oh my goodness, mm. look at that! Yeah, that I mean, that could rank because it is exact match. I think because you got yeah. finance and loan, that's worth something right there, guys. Yeah, that is yeah no sure. question worth something. Um, canoe and kayak tour agency.com. You know, the business ideas that go through your heads. If somebody says to you that all the domains are gone, they haven't used domain kicks mm. <laughs> because they're mm. not gone. They're not gone, guys. Um, oh, here's one for you. Beauty product supplier. Don't you have a program yes. that you're marketing for beauty products? Uh, I'm not, but I, I do work with some makeup artists. That's so, what I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Some of those domains. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Costume? I don't provide any beauty products. Uh, no, that's okay. That, yeah, I wouldn't judge. I wouldn't judge. No, CostumeJewelryShop.com. No, CostumeJewelryShop.com. AdventureSportsCenter.com. BirthControlCenter.com. Oh, I'm not yep. going to go down that one. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. Canoe and area. Okay. It's starting, to, it's starting to break up a bit down here. There's less search volume mm-hmm. for some of these terms. ArmyFacility.com. 
Coat wholesaler.com. That's kind of a big one. Child healthcare center.com. Now there's a big one. Can you check that one? See. Yeah. It is spelled center R E, but in some areas of the world, that is, that's how you would spell center, right? Is that how you spell it there? That's how we spend it in, in England. Yes. That's in right. England. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's the right way, right? Is that what you said? <laughs> well, let's not get into that. We've we've had this discussion many times, uh, Daniel. Let's not get into yeah. that. But uh, yeah, the the English spelling of of that is is uh, re at the end. That is correct. Yeah. Do they have some search volume? Let me let me just try. Uh, I'm so still looking. People can visually uh, yeah, I'm, see it. Let me just see I'm if still, I can do that. I looking. forgot I did this. Keyword research, and we're just going to pop it in here and put some spaces and. Folks, give us some SE feedback. rankings not found anything. Yeah, oh, I haven't really? found any volume on this yet, but it, it may be. Sometimes it uh, spins around a lot of his not high volume. It looks like it, we'll, it's we'll recognized it. I don't think you can put a space mm. between health and care, though. But uh, let's see what it says yeah. here. Yeah, sorry, Dan, I'll cut you off. You're going to say uh, any feedback? Has anyone yeah, bought any... a domain tonight that they've seen? Are they, are they liking this? Is this, is this uh, yes. interesting? Look at these, these categories, yeah. Yeah, we have some good numbers watching on the various channels that we're on. So uh, thank you guys for that. We really do appreciate you tuning in on that Wednesday at 6 o'clock is when we kick this off. It usually lasts about an hour or so. Uh, we give you like a freebie look at uh, Domain Kicks results. And so you can decide if you want to buy some of these domains. Okay, here's one that's interesting. Check Caching Service. Again, it's got the, the uh, English spelling of check. Um but that could be something. Daryl, I'm just looking at um, healthcare, and it's, it's interesting that the actual search volumes for this are with it with a space. So, child healthcare on its own is 1,000 a month. Child oh. health, health center 360. So, child healthcare center with a space. I mean, it's not much. It's, it's estimating about 30. But child care center is is four and a half thousand, and healthcare center. So, it, it, it looks like when people are searching, they're searching with a space. So mm. just a bit of insight there. Yeah. I think I can just enlarge this just a little bit more so for folks on their mobiles can see. I think that would maybe help a little bit. Mm -hmm. So check, check caching, caching service is good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, careerguidanceservice.com. That could be an interesting service uh, for somebody. Agriculture High School Container Supply. Containers is a is sort of a, a business, but it's low margins. You know, it's just, I I think I don't know. It depends. Like I can think of like going to the dollar store and getting little containers for things, but maybe you know. It's also storage know. containers, isn't it, Daryl? Oh, I mean, that's right. they're yeah. they're high value. That's I mean, big. They're, you know, value. Two two thousand dollars a pop, aren't they? So yeah, maybe more. Yeah, and those big metal containers um, that they put on yeah, that's it. Yeah, trains. storage containers. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, abrasive yeah. supplier.com. Yeah, people are making houses out of those storage yeah. containers now. Yeah, office houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don's uh, just um, entered the building. So, hey, Don. Hello, Good Don. To see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? You're right. <laughs> We're finding some gold here. We really are fishing for some really big ones tonight mm -hmm. on Exact Match Search Week. Um, chemistry faculty. It's pretty long ones here. Don's given us thumbs up on containers and in, in demand right now. I think that's uh yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. People moving, people need to store stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested, Dana's, go to go. Uh, dot, yep. Dana bought eleven metaverse NFT related domains on domain kicks. Help me find yesterday. Nice. Those are really in demand, the, the metaverse and yeah. NFT domains, if you've got some good ones. Um, Dana, go ahead and message me on the back channel. I'd love to find out what you got. Um, we've, we've got we've got a buyer, we've got a buyer here as well. Dominic's bought bait tackle shop and clothing alteration. So so congratulations, Smart Dominic. Good Smart good man. move and glad we were able to help you out. Hope you, you do oh my goodness. Sorry, I started to interrupt. Farm <laughs> dairy farm equipment supplier.com. Holy yep. mackerel! The, the, what? Uh, let's look at the CPC on that one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dairy farm equipment supplier. Yeah. That I mean tractors and 
you know, the yeah. equipment that these things are mega, mega expensive. Oh, I, I want to get this from Enterprise just to build out a bunch of articles. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this farm equipment suppliers, 3.6 thousand. Um, farm equipment suppliers, three, uh, 30, 360. Dairy farms equipment is 140. Yeah. There's people searching this. Yes, there is. Yeah, farm equipment supplies three and a half thousand. That's that's yep. chunky. So definitely, and it, yeah. there's there's uh, it's a big value. It's a it's a mm -hmm. high value oh, yeah, one. Yeah. Carsharinglocation.com. I could think of a few few ideas for that. They do have some car sharing systems for different um, cities and stuff like that. That could be kind of interesting. Boat accessory supplier. Dot com. I'm telling you guys, we should come with a warning label because once you start buying these and selling them, you can start to get addicted to just acquiring these for for resale. Um, yeah, I mean boat boat cover supplier. I mean it's it's very specific. It's, it's very, very niche. niche. It's about about yeah. two hundred and sixty. But covers for boats is a search in the U.S. Twenty seven thousand a month. Boats covers twenty seven thousand. Boat cover. I mean, there's more than a hundred thousand searches a month in the U.S. for boat cover and related um searches so that's that's a big one what about this one auto accessories wholesaler mm -hmm. i mean the the auto parts business is huge yeah uh condiments supplier <clears throat> um yeah, a few hundred searches on that one. Wholesale uh, accessories, so auto accessories wholesaler, and those are related searches. So yeah. Curtain and upholstery cleaning service. Again, I don't like it because it's so long, but it still yeah. is a lot of keywords in there. Um, let's see. Court execution officer. Classified ads newspaper publisher. Again, way too long for me. These are way too long. Mm -hmm. Beach entertainment shop. Interesting. Let's find a short one here. These are all available for eight bucks. All right. I don't know if it, it, it. Do you think there's something you could put in terms of uh, domain kicks to actually just only show you the ones that were a certain length? I mean, do you think that would be maybe a, yep. a, a filter or something? Yep. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. It's oh, not okay. in domain kicks. We're going to add it to domain kicks, but ah. you can do it with um, tech shakers. So right now, yes, you know, yes, yes. Um, Computerhardwarecompany.com. Dana, you got to look at that one. <laughs> Computerhardwarecompany.com. He's our tech genius in there uh, with computers. Mm. So computerhardwarecompany.com. Let, let Dana have a few minutes on to think on that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is got to come with a warning label. I'm telling you right now. Um, let's see. Archery Apartment letting Hall. agency. That's oh, nice right. One. Yep. That's a uh, leasing. Yeah. Animal water hoeing. Clockwatchmaker.com. Mm -hmm. Dart Supply Company.com. Or uh, Dart Supply oh, so, yeah. Shop. Yeah. Yeah. Bicycle Hire Shop. Hmm. No. Is that a British term? Hire Shop? Yeah. Hire Shop. Yeah. British term. Uh, yeah. What does that mean? It means rental. Oh, to hire okay. To rent, rent something, you. yeah. You gave me the British list. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> this only makes it... sense to uh, Simon's. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's other ones in there, but uh, it's you know it's a, it's a big list. There's other you know. Yeah. No, it's not in the US. Yeah, if you guys can secure your list, you can you can do the same thing. But again, if you buy tonight, um, you get will automatically with this code kick forty, you'll take forty percent off. And we're going to hunt you down and give you the free gift. Or you can reach out to me at daryl.chat. Um, if you already, like Dana and some people that already have domain kicks, just reach out to me. I'll get you this list. All right. So you can play around with it if you want. Again, I think there's other, other ways to, I was going to say, Daryl, there's other ways to use this list, isn't there? Because you could filter out all the long ones, choose the short ones, and then just add some you know, app ends on it right. at the end just to see if you can find something that was a little bit more. And we're going to do that. You know, yeah, yeah. We yeah. got we got time before seven to do that. So I just um just want to just go through here. 
Just kind of going through these long tail ones. These are pretty long. Here's, here's a carpet retail shop. It's interesting. Um, artsorganization.com is organization spelled the British way, but it is yep. interesting. Animal Protection Organization. Interesting, guys. Burglar alarm shop. Mm. <laughs> Not sure that people go to a shop for that, but aircraft supply shop. Mm. Wow. Does anybody know about aircraft parts and what they go for? I don't yeah. think that people go to a shop, though. That's the only thing. I would mm. think it would be airplane, aircraft supply or mm -hmm. something like that. Maybe just yeah. remove that. Dairy product shop. I think this list also gives you ideas for niches, doesn't it? I mean, it you does. could go through this, see some things. You go, actually, you know what? I haven't thought yeah. about it because some of these are so specific. There's thousands of them on this list, and yeah. they're all genuine, real categories. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you can home in on something. So, yeah. Animal um, feed shop, caravan store. So, ch church, church supply shop. One of my clients is actually provides church supplies. It's a it is a niche. Wow. It's a category. He has a very good business on it. So it's pretty interesting. These these things uh, pop up. You know. Church supplies, yeah. Yeah. Children's furniture shop. That's a whole niche you don't even think of. Like who's yeah. sitting here thinking of children's furniture stores? Mm -hmm. Um baseball goods shop. Interesting. That would be, you know, children's supply shop could be a really good, you know, second hand store, like through consignment. So like because mm -hmm. the thing is, kids grow up so fast, and as long as they keep their, you know, their furniture good, you know, they could resell it in a consignment shop. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of an interesting thing, and that's what I love yeah. about domains is it gets you thinking. You know what I mean mm -hmm. about um, different ideas and things like that. We're just kind of going through. You might see something you like. I haven't seen anything. I always announce ones that I think are really good. Copying supply shop is interesting. Cured hams, cured ham shop, curling hall. Curling is a sport, so I'm not sure mm. how many people are searching for that. But no. after school program, spelled British way with a dash. All right, mm -hmm. that's it. That, that's the end of that list. Now, what I have to do is because we're not going to expose the other parts of the list, okay? Because you can you can get that list, and I don't want to give it to everybody. Every, I want you to be able to have a list that you can go ahead and check them yourself because this isn't fair to the people that have bought domain kicks to show you every single domain combination all here. Okay, so what we're doing is um, if you buy it, you get the entire list and you can go through it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that first um, thousand names here and we're going to go through that list again. I'm going to show you what I'll do to, to shorten it up and then combine it um, with the uh, other keywords that we were just kind of talking about. Uh, so um, just looking for the, yeah, I think this is the list. Okay. So uh, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts there, uh, Simon? Well, I mean, there's a lot of uh, options there. I mean, it sounds like some people have been buying up the good ones already, so it depends if there's any any left. But uh, yeah, oh, there's think, a lot uh, of comments. Have the, you been hitting the, them? The, uh, I've been looking at some of them. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got up to uh, Dana's, but we can uh, we can uh, add some of those uh, there. Um, Patrick saying containers are popular for tiny houses. Tiny houses just on that yeah. earlier on. Yeah, uh, Dana's a Excel fan. Good for sorting by characters, number of characters. So, yeah, it's a good uh, technique. Don's reminding us all that it's an expensive hobby. Um, <laughs> so, and then Patrick's yeah. asking conservative contractors. Uh, I don't know if he'd seen one that or if he's asking if that's a, an actual category. But right. these are all official categories we've used here. So we haven't, we haven't invented these. These are, uh -huh. these are used, you know. So I'll tell you what would make this an expensive hobby, Don, is when you can't resell them. Uh, in the course of the year. However, I haven't paid for a domain in 13 years and I have hundreds of them because I always resell enough every single year 
to more than justify the, the expense that I'm paying for them. So mm -hmm. I would, I would think I really need to do for everybody is kind of just show you like exactly how much consideration I put into buying a domain. I'm very, very picky. And I think everybody should be very, very picky and cautious about the domains that they they're going to pick up. Okay. So now what I did is I took that same list here um, of, of names. All right. And I'm going to just like look for things that are not too long. So if we get to clergyman art museum, okay, these are starting to get a little long. So I'm just going to take from, sorry, anime fans. I'm going to take from anime club all the way down. Because what I did was with text shaker and you can do this with Excel too. So I'm going to delete all of these long ones. Okay. And I'm going to combine these with another word. All right. And let's see, we're going to just take in, grab this, go into domain kicks, and we're just going to pop this in here and fix it. All right. And we're I'm just, just saying, Daryl, I think Dana's wanting you to delete not just that section, the entire list, and don't show it to anybody at all. <laughs> <laughs> just share it with him alone. So, uh, yeah. just tell him. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's five times more than we've showed you. So, there's, yeah, this, this is just, just a, a small little bit. Yeah. Drop in the hat. Tip so, of the iceberg. Yeah. Tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we've got these short ones that are in here. And let's just look at these. Um, let me just, I'll just copy this just once again, just to make sure that I have it as a backup. All right, so we're going to do dot coms. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do dot coms. And what should we, which word should we add to this either before or after? What do you think? How about um, mm. universally accepted word? Yeah. Um, buy, no, deal. Um, let's see. What would be a good word to go with? A, what's a really popular word? Local. Local. Local? Yeah, let's do I mean, that. You could, you could have, yeah, lo local band, local bank, local cafe. That could be. Could and let's be do for fun, let's put in meta. <laughs> because so, people yeah. are crazy about the word meta right now. Yeah. All right. Are you guys ready? Dana said that's, best. Do you want to have a best? Best bar, best band? Sure. That's that fine. Might be good that's, a good yeah. one. that's a good one. Thanks, All Dana. Right. Thanks, Dana. That's good. All right. So let me just take a look and see how many we have. If I go into Tech Shaker, you can see there's 109 lines times three on all of these. And we're going to head and start it up. Don okay. just came in at the last minute and said needs, like needs bar, need bank, needs cafe mm. but you know maybe another one for another search but yeah yeah so this is going to go through the short ones and yeah. um the initial search will go through and just look <clears> for the <throat> keywords themselves okay so you can see i would be right amazed but you'd be amazed if one of these came up i have to say you'd i would be, be really surprised you'd be yeah. on the keyboard pretty quick you'd be on the, on yeah. the oh, google go daddy i don't know what this is though it's some bar nice. pmu uh What's PMU? Does anybody know what PMU know. means? PMU. Hmm. More profitable than Netflix. Ooh, I love that one. <laughs> Who spends their time with uh, C? I, th I think. I think bar PMU is a French term. It says um, French state control betting system. Maybe something. Oh, like that. I don't okay. Know. Possibly. Possibly. But I'm looking at some stuff on Google that suggests it's kind of in that in that direction. So things are called the Grand Cafe Bar PMU. So I think it's that. But who knows? All right. Let's see what comes through. It'll be great to see something come through. Don't forget, guys, if you're going to do domain kicks and get domain kicks, uh, I would suggest getting the lifetime only because we will be raising the price another $500 on that. So here we go. Some local and best. I do see Dominic uh, purchase. Thank you, for Dominic, for your purchase. We will be sending you out that list. All cool. right, let's take a look. What do you think? Uh, best Ashram. <laughs> local Chalet. Whoa, Local That's Chalet. Yeah. That is a good one. The chalet, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a directory, perfect for a directory, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
This is so much. Are you having fun, Simon? I, I, I enjoy this. Are. I enjoy these shows. This is good. And uh, yeah, I just enjoy watching how excited you get, particularly when we do the the, uh, the <laughs> rehearsal and say, what we're going to do this week, we do some test runs. Go, oh my God, this is going to be great. So, so this oh, was a good one, I goodness. have to say. Yeah. 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 And, and you guys, when, when I do these lists, I usually do one or the other. I'll do, you know, prepend or append. I don't usually do both. Um, but here's best canteen, local canteen, best cannery. Um, all right. Meta bar MPU. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to skip that. All right. Let's take a look, and we'll just kind of go slow here. So you guys can see them. They're fast and furious coming below. But uh, Meta Carvery, local cater, catery. Cattery. Oh, cattery. Cattery, okay. yeah. What cat boarding. Oh. Okay, like, uh, like uh, dog kennels. A, a cattery is a place where you put the cats if you're going on holiday. Okay. Cattery, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Patrick's just saying they're a French law bar PMU. So as a just had a look on Google, so thanks for oh, confirming okay. that, Patrick. That's what that means. Maybe it, you know, maybe it is useful for somebody. So good. yeah, thank you. Bestconvent.com, <laughs> localconvent.com. Yeah. Uh, local di local day, day spa. Day spa. That's nice. Oh, yeah. hey. No, best, air, no yeah, best, <laughs> air, best air taxi. That's a great one. Wow. Like airport taxis. Yeah. This thing is a beast, guys. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to have uh, pay if Patrick is right. That is well. I'm glad you're taking my side on this. I it's it's, it's <laughs> what I've had with with Daryl many many times. It's very true. <laughs> Here's one best art cafe. Yeah, that's nice. Best art cafe, localbagshop.com. Localbagshop.com. Bestbasilica.com. Boy, there's a lot of these that are coming up that are interesting. I bet there's been some more purchases. I just, I just feel it with the people watching. There's definitely yeah. been other people have yes. have gone in. Yeah, Dalek Dane is uh, he's proper English. Yeah, he's backing me too. So I think you're in a bit of a minority here. <laughs> That's Darryl. right. Just, just say I, I get my English from McDonald's restaurants. That's, That's about the, <laughs> the level of English I've got. Patrick looks like he's going to have a big evening tonight. He's got his name chief account ready, fully funded, ready to <laughs> ready to rock. So that's uh, that's all good. Well, well we're going to pull the plug on this in about fifteen minutes. So get yourself, make sure that you've got your domain kicks membership. Best car club, best bull bull ring. I, I bull thought ring. It was bull riding. Yeah, yeah. Local chop local bar. car local car park. car park wow car park directory. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That's that. There's a misspelling there, isn't it? It's crepery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, guys, this is really cool. Local aeroplane. Local aeroplane. Best aeroplane. You guys have a different way of spelling that too. We we are. Definitely different. Mm -hmm. All right. One of the things I promised last week that if you have any domains that you um, want to sell, you want to list on here inside the chat on YouTube, only do it on the YouTube channel um, so that everybody can kind of see it because that's where most viewers are right now is on Mass Page Tools um, YouTube channel. So if you just want to list a few, um, have if somebody get back to you, uh, if you have a few domains you want to sell, if you're watching this, we'll let you do that. Say, put a list and try to put it in one post if you can, um, or one at a time, I guess you should do. Have you seen any? I haven't seen any that were grabbing me here. No. Meta Beer Shop. That could be interesting. <laughs> Because people want to hang out at various places in the metaverse. Uh huh. Local bike wash. Meta bird shop. This is great, guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this and watching it. We want to really grow this. Um, and if we grow it to, I would say, over 30, 40 people watching. 
I'll give away a domain of my collection every single Wednesday. All right. So we need to make sure that we can get more people to know about this that are interested in domain buying and flipping. And like I said, I'll take care of you um, if you get get the word out. All right. Best Just a, qu a question come up there, uh, El Couch. Um... They're new here. Instead of a list, can we add a link, read domains we want to sell? I think you were just talking not about that, weren't you, Daryl? Yeah, just you not can, a link, just some. Up. Yeah, say these are the links. These are the domains I'm trying to sell and list them. And if if you have a sales page on there, people could find it if they're interested in buying it from you at probably a wholesale price. But it's it's these are also people that are looking to buy domains. So you might not get retail. There was a question that came up earlier on, which I'm, I remember now we didn't uh, get to from Tech J A S, which is about checking spam score of domains if you're you're looking at expired. I don't think we covered that one off. I don't know if you can speak to that, uh, Daryl. Yeah, um, there's a there's a few things that I I like to do. Um, there's one thing that I do like to do is to check the backlinks. The spam scores can send you a false negative or false positive, so you got to be somewhat skeptical um there is a a tool called spamzilla that kind of gives you a spam score um on the domains that it finds as expired domains um but i don't think there's a way to just import in to see if there's spam on a particular domain maybe that's something we can include in domain kicks is like um, a play to just place to just you know, paste in your domains and we could kind of just check to see how like a marketplace it is. or a, yeah, 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 just to check. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of thing. I mean, we're working on appraisals. We're trying to get appraisals from GoDaddy and we're going to try to build our own. But right now it's um, it's very, very difficult to do it accurately. So local clergymen. That's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. Meta copy shop. Have we completed the list or it's still going? Yeah, I can see this is still increasing. So don't forget, if you get the lifetime deal today, um, you're going to get um, access to that live feed that you can do off of your preset. So up here at the top, um, you will see this live feed. And I'm, I'm not going to hit it because it'll stop what we're doing. But uh, okay, this is stopped. When you go to this and it's stopped as one color, then we've gone through that entire list. Okay. So maybe you found something through there. Maybe you didn't, but that's how you would do it is you'd sort of get like a short domain uh, keyword from your list like these and then pair something with it. So that's, that's probably the most effective way to do it. Now, do we keep track of any of the domains that we found so we can look at the value of them? Uh, so that's what we'll do right now is um, um, where are you at squad help? Uh, tell us what your handle is for squad help and we'll take a look at your domains. Um, all right. So again, I'm just going to throw in the live just to show you guys if I, if I turn off uh, these and just do this. Uh, sometimes I get some good .nets too. I'm just going to throw that on there. All right. Secureword.net. Mega Wheel. Oh, there's our. That's the name for our domain for our uh, wheel, the prize. Our wheel of names. <laughs> wheel of yeah, names. yeah. We, we've wheel. got to build one. We have to build one of those, Daryl. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Our own wheel of names. You know. Yeah, definitely. That would be a good name for it. Let's jot mm -hmm. that down. Um, somebody's going to buy it and sell it to me. Watch that. Yeah. You'll see. All right. Let's see. Vid, vid mouth. So this is just like going after random combinations, millions of different combinations. All right. Okay. Super broad. Okay. So I'm, very excited about this feature. Again, you guys will have this uh, if you have the all access. I think some people on here do have all access um, and the lifetime deal has all access. So if you look at the pricing point here, 
you will see um, the all access. And then the other thing is, is we also have a, a program called Leads Detective, which helps you to sell your domains. Um, with a Leads Detective account, you can find similar domain names and reach out to the owner of the domain, um, even beyond the who is. So we have we have information beyond the who is information um, so that you can you know, reach out to people to maybe actively sell your domain. So that's really positive uh, to be able to do that. All right. So just um, I think we had a couple people by today. So we'll, we'll re get you a copy of Leads Detective so you can log in and do that. All right. That's why this is going up. This is silly. This uh, 997. Just 10 months of all access would, would cover this, okay? We're giving you lifetime for this low price, plus you got the 40% off with Kix 40. This is insanity, plus we give you lifetime of Leads Detective, which is a $1,500 value. So if you're looking to get lifetime, get it, because we're gonna be eventually trimming this down. Uh, and it, it, as far as um, you're gonna get this at $14.97, and I'm not sure if we'll do the discount kick 40 once all the features are in here. So you, you're gonna have a big increase to worry about, but we'll have a lot more features, trust me, we'll have more features, but you better get qualified, or no, grandfathered in now while you can, because um, otherwise you'll be kicking yourself afterwards, so. All right, folks, anybody that saw a domain, go ahead and put it in there of a domain that you bought so we know that you bought a domain on here um go ahead and it's safe if you've already got it secured you can go ahead and tell us what domain you picked up and uh i will do a free valuation for you um off of the tools and then simon and i will give you our opinion yeah okay we'll give you our opinion about uh, what we think the value is whether it you know is exactly that or not? Hey, <laughs> but uh, I think that that is um, something we can do for you. Anybody have a domain that they saw and they want to see what the value might be? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, according to uh, uh, name words, some of the ones, or, yeah. Did somebody post one? No, no, I'm just thinking it'd be, be it's a good idea to have a look at what what uh, may still be there because actually it might it might not have been bought and uh, do you remember you know, do you remember in. some of them? Uh, I do remember some of them. I don't know, beach beachpavilion.com is one I remember, although I'm not sure it's worth uh, uh, so much. But I, I uh, thought that was an interesting one. Um, is that how you spell beachpavilion? .com? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, maybe others have got some. Yeah, we want to call them out. We can we can put them in. Oh, that's super Beach premium. Yeah. The twelve. Right, I'm in. Right, boom. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. That wow. was well, that was there you go. <laughs> nice. What was the other one that we were like, oh my gosh? Um quite a few, weren't there? Which one had the highest search volume? What was the first one? Let's just take that list again from let me go to Estebot. We'll just, or not us about, we'll, we'll go back through and we'll do this the, the inverse way here. Mm -hmm. so I'll go to Uber Suggest, and this is the list. We're going to copy to clipboard. I'm going to bring this in and take a look at it. And you can do the same thing, guys. If you get the, when you get this list, you can sort it and, and put it into a keyword tracker like we did here. And we can see exactly how many um searches it gets so i'm just going to do these here and uh we go back to domain kicks all right guys don't forget so to like like and subscribe as well go ahead so daryl a uh, beach pavilion's got five and a half thousand searches a month on that keyword in the in the us not nothing in the uk and it's highly seasonal actually interestingly it peaks uh, massively at fourteen thousand searches a month they just September people rent them for weddings october people ah, rent them. Ah, yeah okay. for weddings there yeah 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 and yeah it looks yeah that would that would fit in with the wedding uh seasonality yeah and, in parties yeah. too like they'll get a pavilion Parties, yeah. to have a party uh, a wedding shower yeah. There you go. Yeah, 
yeah it's, beach it's, pavilion it's a good one yeah. so nice. i'm just going after the the big ones here let's just take a look and we'll just kind of see what what we discovered here today yeah and mm -hmm. i i hope you guys have enjoyed this make sure that you are in the replay <sighs> give us a like we're fishing for domains live on six o'clock on wednesdays all right christmas tree farm we have the dash in there. I don't think that's going to be worth much, but I'm just going to put no. it over side. Just, just thinking, Daryl, one really great feature is as they come up, if you were able to tick them and mark them as a favorite or to look at later on, I yeah. think that would be really helpful. So that would help the kind of selection process. You should shortlist it, you know? Little that stars, cool. yeah. And we're going to have a button so you can register the domain right from here. You'll be able to click on it. Yeah. Again, nice. we're just like adding features little at a time. Just, But the reason is, is I use this myself. So I've made this, you know, for me because I was like, why isn't there a tool that does this? I want to have, I want a tool that just does this, you know. And then we started thinking of other things we'd add to it, and um, it's it's my favorite tool right now um, that I'm I'm playing around with. Obviously, Siphon's a big one, um, but I really love playing around with this thing, um, I, especially with that live feed. Because I just like mm. set the live feed going. So you guys haven't been able to play with this, but I've just been letting it go and just like watching it. And some like... some people watch television. Some yeah. people like to read a book. Some <laughs> people play PlayStation. Daryl's here watching live domains. Yes. <laughs> I like it. I'm a sicko. <laughs> do we use uh, SpyFu? Yes. I do use SpyFu. Um, you know, a lot of these tools that you can use to reverse engineer the um, keywords on a particular domain, like I used Reddit and reverse engineered the keywords in Reddit and we used it to do domain searches. So there's a video on my channel about that is how to use Reddit keywords um, for, for everything. So these are still searching. Let's just take a look and see what else comes up here before I run the uh, search here. There we go. BorderCrossingStation.com. So we got a couple I think that's here. one of the ones we thought might be hard to monetize, isn't it? That one. Right. Yeah. Let's just see what, you know, as far as it does have search volume, let's just see what, what happens with this. I mean, Dominic bought Bait, bait Tackle Shop and Clothing Oh, yeah. Let's do that server. one. So hopefully Dominic won't be offended if we have a have a look at it and uh, and just see what he's bought. It's already secured, so it won't make any difference. But, yeah, I mean, they, they are, I think, quite interesting ones. Bait Tackle Shop, right, dot com? Bates Tackle Shop, yeah, and right. then clothing alteration service .com, yeah. Chicken Wing Restaurant. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah. All right. Dominic's saying no problem for us to take a his domains. Thanks, uh, Dominic. Appreciate what was that. The, uh, what was the other domain for Dominic? Uh, clothing alteration service .com. Clothing. All alter alteration service. Yeah. Dot com. Is that right? Dot com. Yeah. Yeah. I'll clothing alter yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Oh wow, look at all these. Butcher Shop Deli. Goodness. Uh I I'm speechless. These are the best <laughs> ones we've gotten so far. This is this is the best list we work I think so, yeah. Because yeah. the local aspect, we know these are categories. We know these are because the categories. We know the key, you know, the keywords as well. So um, yeah. yeah, this has been really interesting. Wow, cheese Let's... steak. When we find out what cheese steak is, that could be a really good one. Well, I I know what a cheese steak is. It's it's like um, it's like a sandwich. Sandwich, yeah. yeah. It's like a yeah. Philly, Philly, Philly sandwich. Philly, thing. That's yeah. right. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm just grabbing the ones that I think that um, would be good here to look at. These are things that I would definitely consider. I may buy a domain here tonight. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I might be buying something. That's all I can can't, say. You can't resist it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know how to market like some of these. Yeah, items, yeah. Well, you, I could sell in a record, day yeah. because I would yeah. market it to the right place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Yep, we're done. Okay, so those are done. So let's go ahead and see. Now, take a look, guys. I'm going to keep that mm -hmm. dash in there just to see what happens. Yeah. Okay, use up some credits on Nameworth. See what their opinion is. 
I should have copied those before I did this. All right. Nothing huge here. We got a 1200 for adult daycare center. Costa Rican restaurant, they figure about 450. Cheese steak restaurant under 500. I would probably think that that would be higher. Um, butcher shop deli 950. Clothing alteration service 1250. Blood donation center 750. Chicken wings restaurant 1750. Bait There's tackle bait, shop. Bait shop. So yeah, so 400. Yeah. Um, which which is almost the high, apart, apart from Beach Pavilion, it's the it's the highest one, isn't it? It's the second highest. Yeah, Beach, Beach Pavilion. Pavilion. You got yeah. a good eye. You got a good eye. Yeah, so let, yeah. Let's take that same list. Let's see if I um, can put it into Estebot, just to see. Um, ooh, I guess I have to go back to Domain Kicks. Let's just get rid of these here. Let's see what happens if I throw this in to Estebot. Uh, Beach Pavilion is still available on GoDaddy. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Might not be soon, but uh, might yeah, not be in a minute. <laughs> still there. Uh, uh, all right. Let's see here. This is a lot of fun, guys. This is fun for me. I, I hope other people are enjoying it. <laughs> like I said, if we can get 30, 40 people to watch, um, I will give away a domain on Wednesdays. Uh, we just have to get it up to a regular uh, flow of people. So Yeah. All right. So let's see here. Let's give this a shot. Nothing dramatic is popping here. Um, mm -hmm. I definitely would not get into any kind of county government office dot com no. that could get you in trouble. Um, chickens, chicken wings restaurant is their highest. Um, mm -hmm. then Costa Rican restaurant, border crossing station, and then butcher shop deli. Now let's look at CPC and see cost per click. BMW, it's stay away from that one. Chicken mm -hmm. wings restaurant has five cents. CPC, not too much. All right, and let's do my searches here. Searches, we already did that. Okay, yeah. So it's a it's a mixed bag. You know, you you'd have to sort of figure out who your market is. But uh, the, I think the cheese steak restaurant could be a a really good one. I think that the beach pavilion could be a good one. Um, yeah. Let's see here. I think these are a little long, to be honest. I think they're a bit mm. long. So, yeah. So, I mean, you spend a little time. This is why we call it fishing for domains. Because if you spend a little bit of time fishing, sometimes you land a good one, right? And that's what we're talking about here when we talk about fishing for domains. You, you never know what's going to come up. And uh, so we, we spent about an hour or so doing this. Once again, if you're interested in getting the list that we have to get five times the number of um, exact match keywords that we've given you uh, on this show. Uh, we will give that to you as a special gift. You just have to use this link though. Go.ht slash kicks with an S and use the promo code or coupon code kick 40 to take 40% off um, of the deals. All right. So I think that that is going to wrap for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Simon, I want to thank you for being a part of it once again. No, enjoyed it. It's been it's been good fun, good list actually. Yeah, definitely enjoyed going through that. Nice, so, and you know, interested to look at some different techniques as well of the, the filtering and sorting you did there. So, hopefully, that's helped people with some some ideas on how to get that data for themselves. Yeah. Now, if you go to prizes .live, um, that's a domain that I have, and we just started this week to accept people to sign up for to win B to uh, business software uh, each week. So this week it's going to be quick blog. We've got five prizes that we're giving away. So all you have to do is register your name. We're going to put the names into the wheel of name and do a drawing. Um, are we doing it this week or are we going to do it on Sunday live? I, I think we'll do it on Sunday live. Sunday we're we're, we're, we're going to launch, we're, we're going to launch a, a separate show, aren't we? Of just yeah. prizes live. And we're looking to have giveaways and this will be, yeah. you know, part of the giveaway. And we're also looking to interviews with SAS founders and owners as well. So yeah, yeah. we've got another, another plan for that. But uh, yeah. in the meantime, you can use this form to enter for a quick blog. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to make the change because it does say 3 p.m. Eastern on uh, YouTube stream. But mm -hmm. we'll, I'll go ahead and make sure that that's clarified, that it's on Sunday live. And so just fill this in. That's all you got to do. And uh, each week it'll be like a different thing that you can win. So um, we're really excited about um, where this could go. I'm not sure if we'll have a prize next week or if it'll be still quick blog because I think he gave us enough promos that we can maybe give away another week. He, um, we have we have a we have a few codes to give away to share. So yeah, quick yep. blogs uh, on on AppSumo at the moment. If anybody wants to look at any uh, details of that, it's uh, a recent launch, and we had uh, Duran George, who's the founder, on the Sunday Live just a couple of weeks ago. Had an interview with him, which was great. So he very kindly offered to give us some codes to uh, give away to help uh, support us with prizes live. So yeah. Brilliant. Guess where I got prizes that live? <laughs> Domain uh, kicks. Let me, let me think now. <laughs> <laughs> Domain kicks. Yeah, just, that's good. That's I a great domain. You know, that's great. But for what for the, what we're trying to do here, it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? It's a brandable, yeah. it does what it says on the tin, just perfect. Yeah. Short, short domain. Love it. Awesome, guys. Uh, Dane is saying he's got an idea for a guest for prizes live. So that'll be good. Perfect. Be good to hear from you, Dana. That would be cool. Thank you. That's awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much. I mean, this is so much fun, you know, to me, yeah. just like being able to get on here and share my passion with you. You know, this is something I enjoy doing. One of the things is about domains is you think about what if, you know, somebody like in your family needed to make some money and could they take a domain that I have on sale uh, in after Nick and turn it into something like this prize is not live. I bought and I had it on Afternick to sell it. We got this idea to do a giveaway each week. What did I do? I went into my inventory and grabbed a domain, okay, that was already ready to go because I had done the research and did the searching one other time before. So sometimes that's another way of looking at this, not that it's just an expensive habit. Sometimes you can basically save yourself, you know, $100,000 because you were prepared for maybe something you wanted to team up with or something, you know, you, you're, you're hanging out with somebody and you come up with this cool idea. And all of a sudden you're like, I got the great domain for that. You know, now all of a sudden you're, you know, a partner on an idea and um, you're, you're bringing the domain, you're, you're setting that up for them. So uh, there's a lot of different ways to think about it. So you think outside the box a little bit and understand that um, if you are aggressive, just, when you buy a domain and you already know like where you're going to go, like who you're going to contact for this to sell it, you will sell more domains than I do. And I sell enough just passively to justify what I do. So if you were to be more, more, you know, go after it, I would, you know, you, you could, you could do that, but you got to make sure that what you get is marketable. Make sure that there's a addressable market. We call it uh, where you, the person is has a place where you can reach them. If you can address them, you know, if you can reach them with an email, um, you know, you you can get to them, right? So um, you, you they're 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 a known commodity, right? And so if it's just you know a very meta name, it's very hard to find a business that wants a meta name. So even though they're super popular and you can probably sell them really well on like Clubhouse or other places with like a wholesale price, yeah, oh great. And there are people that'll definitely buy meta domains. Um, but you have to sometimes think of what is the most practical evergreen name too that I could, if I held on to it for 10 years, it would be increasing in value. All right. So that's what I'll leave you with today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, again, like and subscribe if you're watching the replay. Believe me, there's still a lot of those domains that we showed that are still available. So if there's something that's interesting to you, uh, please go ahead and, uh, and register that domain. All right. All right. This is Fishing for Domains Wednesday. We will talk to you guys again next week. Thank you, Simon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye now.